Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at the writing expressions mastery check where you are going to test your skills to see if you have this down. If you are looking for a little more instruction or a refresher when it comes to writing expressions, I dropped a link to my instructional videos down in the description. There's a part one and a part two. Part one's uh, more of the basics, and then part two gets a little more complicated. But if you are ready to see if you have this down and do this mastery check, you should have something to write with and something to write on. If you're not familiar with how mastery checks work on my channel, when I say press pause here in a second, you'll press pause, do these eight expressions. When you have them done, go ahead and press play, check your answers with mine. Your goal, we have eight total there, your goal should be to have six, seven, or eight correct out of the eight. So go ahead and press pause. Welcome back. I'm assuming you have those eight expressions written out. So let's go over our answers here. Number one, the product of 13 and M. So our keyword there, product. And we should have 13 M. Or any of the other ways you can show multiplication. Remember, we talked about when we throw variables in, we don't want to use an X for a multiplication sign because that can mean three times m, m or it can mean three x m, which is a completely different math problem. If you put this, you can mark it correct because you got the multiplication part right, but remember, letter next to a number means multiplication. You can use a dot, make sure it doesn't look like a decimal though. You can use parentheses. A number next to parentheses means multiplication, or you can use an asterisk. So those are our different ways of showing multiplication. And one more thing, when we get to algebra, and this is considered algebra when we throw variables in there, uh, you, for a multiplication problem, you have the number come before your variable. If you have the M coming first, multiplication is commutative so you can mark it correct but just remember in algebra number comes first with multiplication the difference of 8 and k so our keyword here difference we should have 8 minus k k minus 8 would not be correct remember um, subtraction is not commutative. Order matters, so it has to be 8 minus k. The quotient of f and 6, so quotient means division, and this would be f divided by 6, or we talked about in our earlier videos, and this is important in fifth grade, a fraction I'm sorry, let me back up here. A division problem can be set up as a fraction. This means f divided by 6 as well. The sum of 37 and 12, sum 37 plus 12. So addition for the word sum. All right, on our right side here, looks like we have a couple of two step expressions. Number five, the sum of 12 and three divided by X. So we need the sum of 12 and three first. So sum 12 and 3 and we are doing that first so we want to put it in parentheses that tells us we have to do that first and we divide it by x sum of 12 and 3 divided by x or 12 plus 3 and you are dividing it by x remember fraction means division as well Number six, add three and y, then multiply by 12. So in parentheses, three and y, we are adding them together and then multiplying by 12. So I'm gonna use a dot here to represent multiplication. Number seven, subtract five from 27. If I had to guess, this would probably be the most missed out of these eight. Do not do 
5 minus, oops, 5 minus 27. Okay, you're taking 5 from the 27, so it needs to be 27 minus 5. Okay, and then number 8, divide 12 by F, then subtract 4. So 12 divided by F, or if you used fractional, that would be fine too. We're going to put this in parentheses because we need to do it first, then subtract 4. Okay, so those are our eight writing expressions, mastery check problems. Hopefully you had six, seven, or eight correct out of those eight. If you need to go back again for those instructional videos for a little refresher, please take advantage of those. And then you can try this mastery check again if you were below that desired goal. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. See you next time.